Hi, and welcome back to Tech Venture. So today we are back with the Google Pixel Watch. Um, there are a couple bad things, of course, which we always start with, uh, but we can cut them a little bit of slack just because, uh, you know, it's, it's their first watch. So, you know, we're still gonna talk about it though. First things first, being at the bottom, we're gonna start from the top, go, or from the bottom, go to the top, uh, starting with the band. So they overly complicated this thing. Uh, as you can see here, you got one and two. So you have to go through two little things just to put it in. And what I mean by that is it's basically an Apple Watch, but overly complicated. So you put it in here first, and then it is now like the Apple Watch. You find your hole, uh, however one you want, and then you slide it in there like that, which, I mean, it's more secure, but it's, it's not really, it, it's annoying to put on. But speaking of the band up here, you got the um, this little button right here. Uh, that's how you release the band. Uh, but because of that button, obviously these bands are special. Now, we won't, I would say it's kind of a bad thing, not a super bad thing, but it's still there because it means these bands are special and you have to get them only from Google. But most, most watches do that, or smart watches do that, like the Apple Watch, the Samsung Gear, all of them have their special own thing just because that's how they make money. Um, but I, I do have to mention it, uh, and still speaking of this area, this top or area right here, you see this recent button right here, that recent button, uh, shows you your recent activity. So for example, let me unlock it real quick. Um, if you click it, yep, it shows what you last used and things like that. Uh, it is in a very awkward spot. And why I say that is because if we put it on, I'm not gonna put this part on, I'm just gonna put it on like that. If your wrist is like this, you either have to move it out of the way or if it's like that, you gotta kinda, yeah, maneuver yourself, which is really annoying um, and kind of stupid for putting it randomly right there. Now, you don't use it very often, so that's okay. Uh, but I do really wanna talk about something you use a lot, and it's this screen. Uh, uh, the way you could show it very well is with the flashlight. This is the flashlight right here. As you can see, um, it's red now, but as you can see, this screen looks cool because it goes all the way to the edge, but then they go and ruin it with that. That's that's all the screen you get. That's so, such big bezels. I did not like that. Um, hopefully in the future, uh, I mean, like I said, this is their first one. Hopefully in the future, they'll give you size differences or size choices. Uh, but for now, it's just this, and that is very tiny to me, even for me, and I have a tiny wrist. Um, but the last thing I do want to talk about is battery life. So um, it says 24 hours, and if you use it very heavily, you're definitely not going to get 24 hours. I'd say max of maybe 20, a little bit less than 20. If you really tried and did, like kind of used it for what you needed and then saved on some other stuff, maybe you can get it up to 21 or something like that. But... Um, it kind of wasn't it wasn't the greatest especially compared to some of the apple watches nowadays now speaking of battery life it i will say because of one thing that it does which we are now in the good stuff um it charges super quickly so we can kind of cut it some slack for the bad battery because you can literally put this on brush your teeth wash your hands use the bathroom whatever right before you go to sleep and then put it back on out of 10 minutes, I almost got like 50%, almost like 50%. It is ridiculously fast and it does not slow down once it hits like 80% like Apple Watches and iPhones and things like that. It just keeps going. It charges so quickly and I loved it because in 10 minutes you can do your thing in the bathroom, uh, slap it on the charger while you're doing that and by the time you get back, you'll have a couple, uh, couple more hours to deal with it and then when you wake up, put it back on the charger and you'll probably be at 100% before you leave, which is really, really nice. Loved it. Also, speaking of fast charging, um, the design is really nice. Actually, it has nothing to do with charging, but the design is really, really nice. Like, I love how um, they l basically make the screen look like it is full to the edge here. Now, obviously, in the bad things you saw, it, it's pointless, but it still looks nice, and I love it. And speaking of design, because this design is so sleek, uh, with the button release band, like I showed you that button, um, I love how it's hidden. Like you could barely tell it's there um, as as you saw at the very beginning when I was pointing at it. So you can barely tell it's there. It, it is a little harder to click than in most of the other ones, but once you get used to it, you see how easy that is. 
Um, if you watch my unboxing, I struggled. So as you can tell here, that was much quicker. Uh, but I really love that as well. Now, oh my goodness, I, I apparently I'm struggling. There we go. Apparently I'm struggling to put it on. But now, um, what I also do really like is that because this band is like this, you can also wear it two ways. It's more of a gimmick than a good thing. So you could either wear it like by putting it in here, putting it in the button, and then, you know, obviously the normal way. Or you can just say screw it and uh, wear it like an Apple Watch by just finding the hole and putting that in there. And there you go. It'll still work, still looks funky, and it's probably not as secure, but it, it will still work. I've used it like this a couple times and it's it's still fine. This this uh, hook right here is pretty good. Um, now, this is kind of both the phone and the watch, but I'll show you here. So when you actually find your phone, so I'll show you here, you pull out the Google, um, say it's over there, uh, and I hit find my phone, it will continue to ring until I pick it up or get close enough to where it realizes, yeah, well, close enough now, but if you have it far away, you can ring it, it will continue to ring until you pick it up, or if you get close enough to where it knows you can see it or something like that, which is really cool because if you know other ones, you just click it once, it makes one sound. Now, unfortunately, if you press and hold, so show you here, if you press and hold and you flip it, it does not flash. So yeah, you, you have to let go and it does not flash. So I, I guess some things are better and I'm gonna stop that. Uh, some things are better and some things are not. But yeah, 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 you gotta, you gotta not have everything. Yeah, nothing's perfect. Now, I also do really like how you can bring over, oh, I may have just locked that, yeah. But I do really like how you can bring down your notifications. So if you look right here, you can bring down your notif or your um, app stuff or your, sorry, not your app stuff, your um, kind of like your quick actions and then up for your notifications. What this means is, what's really cool about it is if you're underwater, you have goggles on and you really just wanna check something real quick, you can scroll down or scroll up since you don't have to use the screen, which is really cool. Um, now, it's mostly used for, you know, if you need to use a notification underwater because, I mean, you can't click even if you were scrolled there, but this does tell you the battery. So if you do want quick access to the battery underwater, you can, um, which I guess is, is really cool. I do really like that. All right, and the final good thing is the fact that you can see that pattern right there. So you can do a pattern or a passcode, whichever one you want. Um, that's, I like that. I really do like patterns. I think the pattern on a small watch makes more sense since you're just going like that, which is really cool. So I did like that as well. Now, obviously um, there isn't unlock with your Google Pixel or vice versa, but that's okay. Um, like I said, this is the first watch. Um, now, would I recommend it? Here's the deal. Uh, if you have a Google Pixel, it's gonna work very well. Um, the only issue that I found that um, uh, I kind of wanted to leave to the end so you won't really notice it because you can just use one app if you want, but I just want to mention it. Uh, there's like three different apps you have to use to get all your stuff. Like uh, now your Google Wear does all the normal stuff like battery life and things like that, but Fitbit is what you actually use for calories, burn, things like that. But honestly, I just use Fitbit. That's why I'm leaving it at the end because it's, it's not that big of a deal like most people will say, but you just use Fitbit and it will give you all the things you need. The rest is on the watch, like the battery life and things like that. But yeah, would I recommend it? If you have a Google Pixel, yes. If you have an Android, I would consider it right next to the um, Samsung Gear watches and things like that. Uh, especially if you have a Samsung, obviously that would be the way to go. But I would consider it if you have another Android that that company doesn't have a smartwatch, I would consider it. But I wouldn't say go for it, oh, this is the one. Uh, I would just consider it. Uh, it is 349, so it's cheaper than the Apple Watch starting price, um, and you do get a charger. Now this charger is unique, so it does not, it won't charge from any other um, Android smartwatches, um, so you will have to use this one. But, like I said, if you have a Google Pixel, yes, I would recommend it. It's obviously the the smartest thing to do. If not, then just consider it, but don't go ahead and buy it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. You have a great day or night whenever you're watching this.